hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we will be practicing questions that is from your actual gen c assessment and questions are related to gamified aptitude okay so the questions that we will be practicing in this video were actually asked in your gen c assessment so make sure that you practice these questions if you are also going to appear for your cognizant gen c aptitude assessment because in that we have a part where gamified questions are being asked so before we dive deep into the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel because i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you i just want one thing from all of you guys if you are finding it helpful please write the word helpful in the comment box so that i get to know how many of you are preparing for this and i will post more videos related to it so let, without wasting any time let's get started with today's video let's look at this question so we have again input figures and then we have output figures and the, we have different codes we have to tell which is the correct code that will convert the input to the output okay so first of all i'll tell you trick how you can do it quickly okay kind of short trick without wasting more time see first understand what is coming on the first portion okay the first portion that the thing that is coming is this fourth fourth figure so you can see uh, in your answer figure the answer will start with four okay so check your options now so in your option you can see you have only one option as your answer which is starting with four so this is only going to be the correct answer in this way you have to quickly check it okay and the other thing is you know you might have other option also like for example if you have the codes like this okay four one two three or something like four one two four and four one two three okay like all the options are starting with four only then you have what you have to do you have to check your codes uh, that in your codes like which digit is different okay which can easily help you to identify it so in that case you have to use that but in our case all the first digits were different so we have used that only okay from the output hope you have understood it now now let's verify our answer so i will give the markings to the remaining also and we will see where they are going so star is 2 circle is 1 and then plus is 3 so our final code is 4123 as we have already found out with the short trick moving on to the next question let's try to look at this question we need to find out in place of question mark which symbol will come so we have the options as square triangle circle and star okay so let's see uh, before directly solving this row let's try to solve the row where uh, maximum number of symbols are there because you know that is the easy trick to solve these questions see now we have already square and star two things in this row right now the what are the other two things which can come in these two empty boxes one circle and one triangle obviously triangle cannot come in this row because in this row already one triangle is there so the only option that can come in this row is circle then the only one left for this row is triangle so triangle will come here and circle will come here now let's start eliminating which can not come in the question mark first of all square cannot come because square is coming in the same row also triangle cannot come because triangle is also coming in the same column now we have two options which is circle and star so now even after even before looking that also let's try to fill in some more other empty boxes see we have this row which is uh, triangle and circle row in this one already at this position what can come okay see already in this column triangle and circle is there so what are the two options that we are left with square and star so can square come here no because square is already coming in this row so the only option that can come here is a star so square will come here right so now since star is also coming in the same row star also cannot come in the place of quotient mark because one symbol can come in one uh, time right so the only option that we are left for uh, quotient mark is our circle so in this case the quotient mark is going to be replaced with circle hope you have understood it let, if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section moving on to the next one let's see this types of question so guys in this types of question you have one more level up okay let's see first of all what we will do we will simply do the markings okay now in the first level the already code is given to us that is this figures will go through this code and we will get one output okay and based on that output that we get again it has to go via some more code and then we will get this final output so how you will solve this question is so if we will pass this input through this code okay that is 2143 so what we will get the output as 2 that is triangle 1 is plus uh, 4 is circle and then 3 which is start so this is the output we have got at this point now we have to check okay again we have to give the markings here 1 2 3 4 okay and now we have to check how we, our output is getting formed so let's see circle is 3 trying uh, plus is 2 triangle is 1 and then star is 4 so this is our output that we are getting so let's see if we have this code 3 2 4 1 yes 3 2 4 1 is there so this one is the correct answer for this one okay 3 2 
four one. I hope you understood this type of question here. At one level, the code was already given to us, so based on that, we have to reduce the figure, and then based on the figure reduced, we have to re uh, find out what is the exact code that is getting followed. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's try to solve this question. In this question, we have to tell in place of question mark which symbols out of the given option will come. Okay, and the options are plus, circle, triangle, and square. So, guys, before solving the video, I would uh, suggest you that please. Pause it for a moment. Try to think of the answer on your own, and then watch with the solution. Okay. So let's now see. See the concept is in this row, all the three are already coming. The three symbols like square, triangle, and plus. So these three cannot cannot be the answer. Okay. Plus square, uh, plus triangle, and square. Okay. The only option that is left is circle. So that is why question mark needs to be replaced with circle in this case. Okay. Hope you have understood it. If for any doubts you can ask in the comment section let's now move on to the next question let's look at this question guys in this question actually we have to find out what will come in the place of question mark okay and we are given these options so which symbol will come in the place of question mark that we have to find so first let's try to eliminate the ones which cannot come so see circle cannot come because circle is in the same column and in the same row so one symbol cannot come twice in the same column or same row okay so that is why we have eliminated circle now if you see in this second row already one triangle is there and one star is there so the remaining two which can come is one circle and one square so circle cannot come here because in this column circle is there so definitely circle has to be here and then the remaining one square has to be here right so see now we already found that square will come in this position so square also is eliminated because question mark at the place of question mark square cannot come again right it can only come once now let's try to fill this place okay see now what we are left with in this row circle square is already done okay circle and square is already done now triangle and star are left so triangle cannot come here right so the only option for triangle is this one so that is why uh, star will come here so in the answer for this question will be triangle because in place of question mark it will be replaced with triangle hope you have understood it let's now move on to the next question let's look at this question we have to find out what will come in the place of question mark we have four options square triangle circle and star okay let's try to understand this problem First of all, star cannot come because star is already there in this column, right? And one symbol cannot come twice in one same column, right? So we can eliminate star. Star is not going to be the option. Now let's move forward. See, before solving question mark, let's try to fill the positions in this second row. Okay. So in the second row, already one circle is there, one square is there. Now we have two things which are left. That is star and triangle that needs to be filled in these two places. Now, obviously star cannot be filled in this place because already one star is coming. So star has to be filled here. And then the remaining one is what triangle. So triangle has to fill here. Now, if you see, according to our question, uh, triangle is also eliminated because triangle is already coming in this column, right? Now we are left with two options, which is square and circle. So if you see square, can you put square here? No, right? Because square is already occupied right in the same row so you have to fill a square here and then circle can be filled here so if you see our question mark will be replaced with square okay so the correct answer in this case is going to be square hope you have understood it let's now move on to the next question let's look at this question observe the problem figures given and select one of the options from the answers figures which will continue the same pattern followed in the problem figures we have five problem figures from a to e we have to tell which one will come in the next sequence okay let's try to figure out and the correct uh, figure will be one of the figures given in the answers figures let's try to understand the pattern here see uh, the i'm drawing the initial image here the initial or the first image that is a image in the problem figure is something like this right this is a image right now if you notice what is happening in the second image so second image is equals to x circle and triangle so these two are getting swept okay and then these two are also getting swept right if you see these two when will get swept we will get equals to an x and then when these two will get swept we will get circle and triangle right so this is how we have got by swapping these two things okay so we have got this one now from here to here if you notice what is happening this is one thing and this is one thing okay you can consider these two both are swapping completely so if you see circle and triangle will come here and then uh, equals to an x will be going top so understood the logic first of all individually the swapping is happening uh, amongst the characters and then the complete uh, grouping uh, sweeping, swapping is happening okay now what is again next one next is again individual swapping that will happen so circle and triangle will swap 
so again it will be triangle here circle here and then this individual swapping will happen so x and equals to will come right so this is our correct now what will happen in the next again grouping swapping will happen so these two groups will be made and then they both will be swapped together so this triangle and circle will go up and then x and equals to will come here now what is the next step that should have happened in the last step grouping swapping happened so in this one again individual swapping would happen so this and this will swap so it will be equals to an x and then this and this will swap so it will be circle and triangle so let's see which of the given options we have this figure uh, and this sequence that will be our correct uh, image okay the equal x circle triangle yes this seems to be correct one for now let us consider this as the option but also let's look at other options also the other options are x equals uh, equals x triangle circle which is wrong because you know here it should be circle so this one is totally wrong because it is starting with circle this is also starting with circle and this is starting with x so this is also wrong so the correct answer for this question is figure number one which is option number a hope you have understood it okay the correct answer is option number a let's now move on to the next question let's look at this question we have the question mark here and we have to find which symbol will come in the place of question mark see first of all star and triangle cannot come because star and triangle are already in the first row right so we will eliminate both of them now we are only left with square and circle so see square can come but if you see the other position in the same row square cannot come here because square is already there in this last column so the only option that we have for square in the first row is this place and then circle can come here so in this way the correct answer for this question will be square okay that is the question mark will be replaced by square let's look at this question the question is observe the problem figures given and select one option from the answer figures which can which will continue the same pattern followed in the problem figures okay so we are given five problem figures and we have to tell what will come in the next sequence and we have to select the figure from the given answer figures okay let's try to understand the pattern in this question see uh, in this question we have so many things that are happening okay so if you notice this bottom part first of all okay we'll have a look at this below part okay so let me show you so if the if you notice the below part in the below part there is uh, these lines right these things okay so how they are proceeding see initially these lines were something like this okay one straight line and then one two three and four okay and if you this is like i'm talking about figure a and if you talk if you see about figure b what is happening one is going from the front to the back okay in this way it will go so it will look something like this okay straight line will come here and then three only will come here in figure c again one will go from front to back and then two circular brackets will come and then two will be left in the front right if you notice this one in this way let's find to find the fig, uh, like pattern and and we have to find figure f so if you see this one will be uh, three circulars will come one straight line and one circular and in this one four circulars will come and then one straight line so what is the next one now so in the next one again we will reach out to this position where the one straight line will come and then four circular things will come right so this is uh, about the bottom part so we have found out the bottom part now let's see the top portion okay so i'm writing the bottom part first so and now let's see what is the logic that is that is getting applied in the top portion see there is this first thing has this circular bracket and then it is making an arc by adding one more then one more is coming here and then to complete it one is added on the top right let's see next see again it is like this so what should happen is see, this one should stay as it is which is already added okay this one will stay as it is in the, our last figure this one was the one so what we have to do in the next figure we have to add one more because every time the arc is getting completed right so if you see this will be our complete figure now if you see okay on the top it should be something like this and in the bottom so let's figure out which can be the answer so if you see this is this one this is correct the top portion looks correct and uh, one two three four even the bottom portion looks correct okay it was only four i made one extra here but yeah i think this one is looking correct but let's also see the other options also uh see this one is wrong because the arc completion here is wrong okay so this one we are eliminating if you see this one this one is also wrong because the bottom part is errorous here okay this one is also wrong because of this that is why we are eliminating this and this one is also wrong because of which we are eliminating this so the correct answer in this case is going to be option number uh like not option number one but figure number one so the correct option would be option number c make sure that you select the correct options while selecting the final answer okay so hope you have understood it let's now move on to the next question 
let's look at this question so we have the question mark here in the third row okay so we have to fill one sign in from these given options such that it should not be repeating in the row and it should not be repeating in the column also that is the concept we have to follow let's see so see obviously star and triangle cannot come because star and triangle are already coming in this row so we can eliminate these two options right now we are left with three signs which is circle plus and square so see square cannot come in this place right because square is already there in this row right and also if you see now we are only left with two uh, empty boxes in this column so square cannot also come here also because square is there in the first row also so the only place for square that is left is this one so uh, question mark will not cannot uh, be replaced with square that is for sure because square is going to come in the this last place now we have only two options with us that is circle and plus so see circle can fit in both places okay as such there is no problem as of now but if you see plus plus cannot go there so the correct arrangement will be what plus will come here and circle should go there so the correct answer should be that the plus should come in the place of question mark and circle can fit in but uh, that is not the correct answer because we also have to see the arrangement of the others also so the correct answer for this question is going to be plus so guys let's understand how we can solve deductive reasoning switch challenge based questions okay so see for, i will be using this image to make you understand how this concept works so basically in these types of questions you will be having three things okay you will be have an, having an input one output and then you will be having different multiple codes that are given to you okay now you have to tell this output if gone through a particular code what will be the output you will get okay if this input gone through a particular code what will be the output you will get now how we will solve it let's see this question only so see let's mark these images as one two three four okay to understand it better now in our answer figure which image is first three then which is there two then a fourth and then one so let's see if we have this code or not three two four one yes we have so our input is following this code and then it is covered converting it to output so in this way we have to solve these types of questions now let's see different types of questions that can be formed on this concept let's see this question that we have so in this question we have again inputs okay input images then we have different codes given to us and then we have outputs let's see how we will solve it so for simplicity i will mark the images as one two three and four so that i can make you understand in a better way now let's see this triangle is at which position so it is again at here only second image was circle it is also here third image is here so i will mark it three here and fourth image is here let's see the code that we have one two four three so this will be the correct answer in this case okay because our input is going through this code to get the output which is given to us okay so i hope you are understanding how we are finding the answers so the answer for this will be one two four three okay moving on to the next question so guys we have this question okay uh, and this is a diy question for you which means i am not going to tell you the answer of this question you need to figure it out by yourself first let's read the problem statement the problem statement is you are given a mathematical statement and you need to create a correct statement of co correct combination of digits to make LHS equals to RHS. There is a note that is given to us that is one digit may be used only once. In some cases, all the digits may not be available. Okay, so let's see how you can solve this. Uh, see, I'll tell you the condition, okay, but I'm not going to tell the solution in this case. So, for example, if you have this as your expression, okay, now you have to select three digits out of the given options and you have to tell which of these digits will make your answer as six okay and the condition is you should not repeat one digit twice for example if you have taken a two here then you cannot take two here and here okay hope you have understood the like conditions and all so make sure this is a dy question what you need to do you need to solve it by yourself and you need to write down the answer of this question in the comment box so make sure to attempt it so that's all for today guys i hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and instagram as well you can ask your queries in the instagram dm as well and if you need any content you can request it on your on our telegram channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates i regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video